Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, and a look at world weather and space weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. As earlier posted, it released five M-class solar flares, and we were watching a region in the Northern Hemisphere last few images, and it looks like a small filament collapsed, but nothing serious. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a pretty big sunspot region moving in and very complex, as I do believe this thing has been firing off the backside of the sun for quite some time, now releasing M-class solar flares. And as well in the outgoing position from sunspot region on the right-hand side, M-class solar flares. Definitely watching all the plasma filaments dancing around on the left-hand side, though, which is in our northern hemisphere of our sun. Quick look here, multi-spectrum. The last 48 hours of events. We have a coronal holes to talk about. No new major CMEs thwarted our way. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral not reporting anything about these M-class solar flares. Another look here, 171 angstroms. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action and as well plasma filaments and the eight sunspot regions that are earth facing right now. Well, that are in view. Having a look at sunspot regions there, especially incoming. Closer look at that region, a little earth to scale as well. Some pretty big and active sunspot regions. Space weather conditions do remain in moderate conditions. R2 radio blackouts, still a possibility here. Solar winds coming in at about 458 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here in telemetry the five M-class solar flares and as well that major M-class solar flare from two days ago. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range, proton flux slightly elevated there in the last few hours kp index of one now let's have a look at our real-time solar wind this is the last 24 hours strongest reported was about 520 kilometers per second but watching the increasing density bunches having a look here at the noaa space prediction spiral that little green dot that is our planet and all of the yellow and the green is space weather heading our way this is the NOAA prediction spiral and versus the ISWA space prediction spiral showing outgoing CME off the backside of the sun right at stereo A. Also showing a Mercury leaving retrograde this next week. Having a look here at Alaska 3, the last 48 hours of events on our sun versus Lasco 2, we do get a broader picture here of space weather taking off from our sun. It's electrifying and it's a cosmic dance party up there, everyone, and you're all invited. So I thank you for being a part of this. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Still only reporting just under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS, largest being here 5.5 Magnitude Papua New Guinea, 120 kilometer depth, but seeing increasing activity through Indonesia, Emma High, 5.1, and as well 5.2 there is Serengeti, Philippines, 4.8 earthquake there, Bone and Islands region, China seeing some earthquakes as well, 4.9 and a 4.6, Gusong, China, pretty deep and rare earthquakes there, and as well Afghanistan is going off today, sizable 5.3 magnitude started the rumbling in germ afghanistan 190 kilometer depth followed by 4.2 4.4 and northeast regions towards the tibetan plateau another couple 4.0s turkey reporting 4.9 and a 4.4 and as well a mid-atlantic ridge with a 4.5 magnitude northern mid-atlantic ridge looking here at the caribbean plate as we did see sizable activity through the region 
largest being a 4.3 there, Dominican Republic, Boca de Yuma, and as well, northeast of Puerto Rico, 3.4 there, Charlotte, the U.S. Virgin Islands, 5.1 reported there, Panama, 4.5 there, Ecuador, uh, 5.0 earthquake here, El Cardo, Peru, and way too quiet through South American plate still and Central America. Overlooking North America, largest through the region today was a 3.6 at Little Lake, California. No major swarms to talk about. As I said, we're just under 200 earthquakes around the world, reported by USGS. Quiet through Hawaii, increasing activity through Alaska, mostly minor, but 4.0 there, reported through the Aleutian Islands. And Kamchatka, still rocking away with a 4.8 and a 4.0, very volcanic and active region. Let's have a look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Deepest and largest. We're through the Tonga region, but we haven't had a six to seven pointer in over a week. And we've been forecasting activity possibly coming up to the North American plate. But I do believe we're going to have an even bigger event here shortly. I'm talking large seven-pointer. Philippines plate seeing a lot of acti activity as of late. And as well into the Indian plate. And way too eerily quiet through South America, Central America, and up into the North American plate. So heads up. Just be ready for anything these days. Much love, everybody. Let's have a look at the water vapor maps around the world overlooking North America and South America. Very large and cold low pressure system over North America and as well an intense, dry, warm blob coming out of the Southern Pacific. And all of this is set to get funneled into the Gulf of Mexico and through Southern states. Watch for our weather to change dramatically over the next few weeks as El Nino is setting up. Another look here across the rest of the Pacific Ocean. Yellows being a drier air masses. But long line of moisture stretching across the Southern Hemisphere right now. And United States, you've got a huge low pressure system off your coastline getting ready to bring in all of this warm equatorial air. Watch for things to change and extreme weather to build over the next few days. Having a look here, satellite imagery, the two low pressure systems spinning over North America, one raking down the coastline. And of course, this lingering low pressure system over eastern Canada and the United States. Let's have a look at Windy. Forecast models showing low pressure system eventually scooting out through the northeastern United States and a low pressure system grinding down the coastline of California. Finally going to make landfall. Looks like Friday. But watch as that thing splits wide open to about three or four different low pressure systems. Two of them spreading north through BC and the other two into the United States. Particularly though, next Monday into Tuesday, watch for that low pressure system through Texas to daily be bringing in extreme weather across central and southeast and northeast regions of the United States. Long range forecast, another low pressure system moving in. Having a look here at forecast models across the Atlantic, huge low pressure system heading up into the North Atlantic Daily evaporation rains across South America and central regions of Africa, but drying out for a couple days there next week. No major severe weather to report. But it's interesting track of this large low pressure system as that is in the long range, the same low pressure system that's affecting Canada and the U.S. right now. It's going to rake through the Atlantic provinces and straight up into Iceland and then Greenland. Overlooking the rest of the world here. 
interesting system building up into South and North Korea. As well, possible cyclone developing for North Indian Ocean through the Bay of Bengal, heading up into Myanmar for the long range, but squeezed by another low pressure system coming in from Thailand. Gonna have to stay tuned for forecast models with that developing situation. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, North Pacific, large, vigorous, low pressure systems affecting the Aleutian Islands and Alaska this week, and then eventually affecting Northern BC and Alaska with some very high waves, up to six meters in some areas, could be associated with this large low pressure system heading up into Alaska and Northern BC. Heads up everybody, our world is going through a lot of changes and this is the best way to stay aware and prepared. With daily updates on earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and of course, space weather. The driver, the winner. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Thanks all for watching. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.